food allergies recognized to cause GI symptoms such as vomiting or diarrhea. If your veterinarian suspects that your cat may have a food allergy, he or she may recommend a dietary food trial to confirm the diagnosis. During a food trial, you will feed your cat a therapeutic diet, like a novel protein diet. These diets are formulated with novel protein and carbohydrate sources, using ingredients that your cat has likely never eaten before, such as lamb or duck. Most of your commercial foods are made with meat and meat byproduct or poultry and poultry byproduct. So we try to diversify and go to a product that might have something like rabbit or duck or venison in an effort to get the cat away from those protein sources that the cat has been used to or have seen before. So novel protein diets tend to be used really exclusively in what we would consider to be allergic type conditions or inflammatory bowel conditions where diet could be a component of that disease. When a cat is reacting to a protein in the diet and we make that switch to a novel protein, what we're trying to do is get away from a specific type of protein that might be in the commercial pet food that won't be in the therapeutic pet food. Because these ingredients are new to your cat, they are less likely to provoke an allergic reaction. Sometimes a food trial is conducted using a hydrolyzed protein diet. Hydrolyzed protein diets undergo a special manufacturing process, breaking the proteins down into small molecules. These hydrolyzed proteins are too small to trigger an immune reaction. Typically, if one food doesn't work, you can try another novel protein diet. So we start with one. If that doesn't work, you can go to another novel protein diet. Then, in, this, in, in the end, what we would end up doing is trying something called a hydrolyzed diet. And these are novel protein diets that have actually been chopped up into very small fragments so that the immune system won't recognize the protein source. After that has been done, very often, we will deem that animal or that cat as not being a food responsive inflammatory bowel condition and then try other approaches. During a food trial, it is critical that your cat does not eat any foods, treats, or nutritional supplements other than those prescribed by your veterinarian. These food items may contain allergenic ingredients that can interfere with the results of the food trial. Once a food allergy has been identified, the basic approach to managing this condition is to permanently remove the allergenic ingredient from your cat's diet. Your veterinarian will help you select a balanced diet that is suitable for the long-term management of your pet's food allergy.